What's up, guys? I was working on this 2015 Accord. Uh, this rear caliper has this uh, cross right in center of this caliper. A lot of people ask me. A lot of people make this mistake. What the, What is the function of this little guy right here, okay? There's three different functions for this. I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to explain to you as we go along, okay? So let's, let me set up my camera. I was working on these brake pads, and uh, just finished doing the hardware. But anyways... Let me explain to you the things and the functions of that that are crossed in this end. Okay, so here we are. First of all, let me explain to you how this caliper works. So this caliper has one uh, line back there and one hydraulic line. So what's happening here, is this, I would consider this as a dual caliper. So this does not have emergency shoes, like a lot of cars will have shoes inside here. So what this caliper does is when you pull your handbrake, brrr, it also pulls this caliper to engage, okay? So there's two functions in this caliper, then one. So it twists inside and pushes your caliper to grab your brakes when you put on the parking brakes. That's what it does. And when you press your uh, brake, regular hydraulic brake, your foot brake, your hydraulic system is working to compress this, uh, to grab the brakes on and off, okay? So that's what's on. So the real function of this guy is that little cross is, one, my tool, has to go on it to compress this piston. This is not like a regular caliper that you just use a C clamp to compress it. So these, this little two little notches, I'm gonna show you here. These two little notches uh, goes into that cross. It doesn't matter which, which this two cross, one going this way, one that way. It doesn't matter. You just find the the one that fits on it. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn this caliper. I'm gonna have to go get a 14 millimeter. Okay, so I got my camera set here, and what I want to do is I'm gonna put this 14 millimeter and back on my tool here, and I'm gonna turn it clockwise. So what that's gonna do is, as this rotates, this tool is also grabbing itself, so pretty much it's compressing and turning at the same time. That is the way to compress this caliper. Okay, I do got a video on how to compress this caliper. Just so we only talk about compressing that caliper. Okay. And that boot has to come back to its position, so give it some time. Sometimes it just won't come back. And uh, you want to do it manually. And sometimes putting a little bit of lubrication on that works also. But you can always fix it. You just don't want to go crazy. So my boot here is turning itself back. And I'm going to fix that up. But let me compress this caliper all the way. Once it can't go in no more. But... You can't just leave it there, okay? I'm gonna explain to you one more thing, but let me fix that boot up a bit. That boot is kind of off. Because usually this boot will twist, like I, I usually put a lubrication on it or just turn it back manually, and this boot will go back to its spot. Okay, so, function number two here, okay? Function number two. This thing can no longer turn as you pull the e-brake, the internal system has to turn to pulse this caliper, okay? But how does that work? Uh, I'm gonna show you that on your new brake pads. You see that little notch on your new brake pad? That notch has to go, so you have to, when you come back to this caliper, let me just adjust it a bit. Um, this caliper, the, the center of it has to be perfectly uh, straight so your pad can sit in there, so you could just turn it back manually. So, um, for this little notch here sits into that little guy right there, okay? It just sits, simply it just sits there, and that stops your caliper, the piston, from turning, okay? That's another function of that. So this brake pad does have this little guy, and this has to match there, so you cannot... If you don't get it there, your caliper will sit crooked, your brake pad will wear out uneven, it will try to turn it back and eventually fall into that hole. But if you have bad luck, if you're not the luckiest person in the world, it might just sit there, your e-brake might not work, and it might just make your brake pad work because it's, it's not going to be a flat, flush surface. So this brake pad does need to go in the inner, okay, um, inner side. The outer one, if you look at the outer brake pad, it does not have uh, that little notch, okay? So the brake pad that goes on the outside does not have that notch. So pretty much, function of that, those little cross in the center is to compress the caliper, 
and uh, stop it from turning and also to grab onto your brake pad so it needs to be centered out. Anyway, guys, hopefully this video helped you guys out to figure out what the hell does that is, how to compress this caliper, and what does that little notch in the brake of the brake pad uh, really mean on this caliper, on this brake system, on these Hondas. Anyways, thank you for watching my video. I have seen those things not lined, and I have seen brake pad where I'm even. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for more videos.